Time for a quick demonstration on how to use the coordinate grids in Sky Safari. So up here on the screen you see Sky Safari and all of the straight lines that are going out like spokes of a wheel and all of the curved lines are the coordinate grid for celestial coordinates. Notice that they all converge on that little point over there, NCP, which is the North Celestial Pole. If I zoom in on that a bit, you'll see that the North Celestial Pole is just a little ways away from Polaris. They're less than a degree off. Up along the top and the sides of the screen, you'll see the values for each of these lines displayed. So for example, all the straight lines are going to be your right ascension. And it, for example, here is 12 hours. Here is 10 hours. So everything in between there is from 10 hours to 12 hours. So right here would be 11 something. All of the curved circles here are your declination. Here you can see that I'm pretty far zoomed in, so this circle is plus 85 degrees of declination. And then along the very edge you'll see that the next circle is beginning, it's plus 80. If I zoom out just a little bit, you'll see that displayed. The numbers are always along the edge. Let's go ahead and work an example. We're going to find a star and a constellation based on nothing but coordinates. So the object that we are looking for is at 19 hours, 31 minutes, 28.78 seconds right ascension, and 28 degrees, 0 minutes, 4.5 seconds declination. First thing I want you to do is go ahead and just chop off the whole section of the coordinate that is seconds that is so fine that we really don't need it. Yes, you can zoom in that far on Sky Safari, but it's really not necessary unless you're hunting a very deep, faint galaxy. So we're really looking at 19 hours, 31 minutes, 28, plus 28 degrees. All right, so how do we do that? Again, look at the coordinate grid along the edge. We see 18 hours and 20 hours up there, so we're simply going to keep scrolling along. We also need to get to 28 degrees. So we're going to scroll along between those two things. Okay, see so we're at 65. Let's zoom out just a little bit. The thick white line that you see is the celestial equator. Notice that that is zero degrees declination. Here's my 30 degrees declination, which means we're going to be just a little bit to the right of that mark. So let's start zooming in. Notice that the grid changes in accordance with where you are. So here I'm still between 0 and 30. Now I'm between 30 degrees and 20 degrees declination. But I also need to make sure that I'm at the correct right ascension. So here I'm at, where'd it go? There's 18 hours off to the left. It's kind of hidden in the other things, but that is going to be 19 hours over there. And so we just need to keep zooming in. We need to be at 28 degrees. Okay, there's 19 hours. Here's 19, here's 20. So we need to be between these two lines. And here's 30 degrees. We need to be just to the right of it because here's 30 and here's 20. So we're simply gonna keep zooming in and scrolling. And remember that our coordinate was 19 hours, 31 minutes. Here's 19 hours, 20 minutes. Here's 19 hours, 40 minutes, if you can make that out. So halfway between those two. And 28 degrees, here's 30, here's 25. So if we estimate a little bit, yeah, it looks like we're right on Albirio. So we have the star name. How do we figure out what constellation that's in? Well, all we do is we're going to scroll out a little bit and see what line that's attached to. And we see that right here, Cygnus, written in the sort of gray text, is the constellation that this is a part of. That's how you find an object based on nothing but its coordinates. One other quick thing, let's say we need to find an object. We know its name, but we don't know exactly where it is or anything else. We can do a search. 
Now there is an advanced search which is sort of tucked away and hidden in the newer versions of Sky Safari. The advanced search is if you go observe, planner, and then if you you need to select the type of object you're looking for. So let's just say we're looking for a galaxy. And down here, as you continue to scroll down, you can set all kinds of restrictions. So if you want to see galaxies that are a certain brightness or a certain size, or in a certain part of the sky, that's what your right ascension and declination are going to be for. If you want to restrict your search to a certain constellation, so let's just say we're going to pick all galaxies in the constellation of Auriga. To search, apparently there are 42 objects for, that match this description. So 42 objects, scroll down, make sure they're all galaxies. Most of them are going to be extremely faint. But that's how you use the advanced search in Sky Safari. I hope this little demonstration has been helpful. Please let me know if you have any questions.